You ever been in that situation where you've got a website and you've got loads of images and you've forgotten what you're actually using within products, posts, or pages? And it could be elemental, non-elemental, WordPress, Gutenberg, Bricks, any page builder. What about when you inherit a website and it's got 2,000 images and you want to get rid of the unused one to just, you know, improve the website, get rid of bloat and all of that, but you don't know what to exactly get rid of and you're a little bit unsure. Now, there are plugins and tools out there. The problem is that sometimes they take away more than what they should. And then once it's deleted, you're now trying to find the image and maybe you didn't make a staging site, which is what you should do. By the way, what I'm going to show you, please test it out on a staging site. I know it works because I've gone and hammered and tested it out and it works really well. I'm going to give you a solution with a code snippet, which is going to highlight the images that are not being used, whether they're a WooCommerce product, whether it's in the gallery, the featured image of a post, could be an elemental gallery, elemental image, could be a bricks image, could be just a standard WordPress post image. This code snippet is going to handle it out. Now, I've got a dummy website here. And I've got some example images. Let me just explain what I am and am not using. So when we run the snippet, you're going to see it in action. I've got three black squares here. I'm not using them at all in the image. I've got two unused images. I have intentionally given them some titles so it's easy for you to see. And I've got the standard WooCommerce placeholder image as well, which you get whenever you load in WooCommerce, but you're probably not using it. Now, if I go over to one of my WooCommerce products, I've got an image inside the description, which I am using. I've got the prod 001, which is the featured image. And then over here, I've got an image in the product gallery. Of course, you would probably have more images, but I just want to show you how this works. And if we go over to a standard WordPress post, so this is like your classic editor, so we're not even inside of a page builder. This is just WordPress. We've got a featured image over there, WP001 and WP002 because it's just an image inside of the WordPress post. And what I also did was create some images EL001, EL003 and EL002. They're used inside of Elemental. Maybe it's an image or maybe the gallery where you dump images in. And I've tested this out with other themes and page builders too. And this works. Now this code is only going to touch your images. It's not going to touch your SVG files or um, your font files, okay? Because I feel like we don't usually overdo them and you can very quickly work out what you are and are not using. This is just for images. Let's now have a look at the code snippet. Make sure you're using the free code snippets plugin that you can get from the WordPress repository. Give it a title. I've called it highlight unused images. This is the really important bit, the highlight, okay? And you're going to see why when I go and run it. I mean, it is quite a bit of lengthy code because I've tried to cover off everything and I have stress tested it. But if anyone has got a better way of doing it, I'd love to hear from you, okay? And like I said, there are other plugins and tools out there, but I think they do more damage than good. That's just my opinion and feelings. So what you would do is you would go paste this in, go and hit save changes and then click activate. Then go to your media library. Now, step one, well, step one was add the code snippet. Step two, when you're in your media library, you need to go into list view, okay? I know grid view is going to show you a ton load more images, but trust me, list view is important because when I go into it, can you now see that we can see the title of the images? So you can see we've got the WooCommerce placeholder there, unused, unused, and we've got these random black images that I just dumped in, which I'm not even using. You'll now also notice a button, mark unused images. Look, if you go to grid, it's not there. If anyone wants to hack into the code and make it appear there, go for it. But believe me, you want to go for this. Watch what happens when I now click this. It's done. That's how quick it is. Eight of those images are being used, which is correct. And six of them are not being used. There are six unused. Watch what happens when I click OK. Did you notice that? Delete, delete, delete. And if I scroll down, delete, delete. And if we go over here, we have delete as well. It's only done it on the images that I have not used. Everything else where I've got it in the product a gallery or the product featured image or the post image or, you know, inside of Elemental, they've not been marked with delete. And this is the reason why I think this solution is safer for you. Because if I go over here and I now type delete and click search media, it's only going to return those six images. They're not deleted. 
And if you want to delete them, I'll go and click them. Or you could go over to the grid and you could type in delete again and it's going to bring them up. Because what it does is prefix every single image with delete. And then you can bulk select if you want or do them one by one in the list or even click the checkbox and it will highlight all of them. Of course, please do note that you might have to go onto different pages, but it all depends on how many images you have. But I can now just go and click delete permanently and look, doo -doo -doo, they're gone. I go and click my list or my grid. In fact, let me get rid of the delete over there because we don't need to have that now. And all of my images are there. If I go and click mark unused, look, they're all being used. So they won't be marked with delete. So the code snippet is going to prefix the title with delete. And then you can decide, are you or are you not? And you might mark one of them as delete. And you might look at it and go, I'm sure that's being used. So get rid of the ones that it's marked out for you by searching for it and then delete them. And then go and double check if you definitely are or are not using it. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you love this code snippet. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Make sure you test this on a staging website. If anyone comes back and says, I used it and it did more than it should, that's on you. Staging site, but I'm stress tested this. It's what I've been doing for the last three and a bit hours, okay? Stress tested it. It works. It's good. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time.